Hello, David Seymour here again with another segment of the nitty gritty of selling and today I'm just sitting out on my deck This is my office space. Just check this out This is uh, This is my place and um, Where I spend a lot of time So today we're just going to build on what we started yesterday about success and what's uh, defined as success is is probably um, quite up for discussion in itself but let's just presume success being good at what you do and in achieving a, a satisfactory result not necessarily earning millions of dollars um, but there again not being at the bottom of the pile when it comes to selling so success part of what drives a successful salesperson in my opinion will be your goal setting and your planning there's no point in waking up to in the morning and just going Oh, what am I going to do today? You need to have a little bit more idea, a bit of a plan. So that plan needs to be broken down onto a daily, weekly, monthly basis of tasks that you need to do to achieve um, things in your in your in your workplace. But also those goals and so forth need to be written down. It's not very well to just say, oh, I want to do this or I want to achieve that. I want to sell as much as I can. What is as much as you can? Seriously, if you just you're dreaming if you just think that I'll just go and see what happens. Have a plan, have a target as to what you want to do. Now, I remember having a conversation with a colleague a few years ago who said to me um, her goal was to buy a new car. And I went, That's great. When are you going to do this buy? And she goes, Oh, as soon as I can afford to. I said, What sort of car are you going to buy? Oh, I'll see what's around at the time. How much are you going to spend? Oh, I'm not sure yet. So it's not really a goal, is it? That's just a bit of a pipe dream. You need to actually be able to say, I want to buy an XYZ model car. I want to do it within the next six months or the next 12 months or the next 24 months, and I'm prepared to spend up to X amount of dollars. So how am I going to get that? That's what you need to do with part of your goal setting and plan. Now, you would have heard the old SMART goal, and that SMART is S for Pacific. So you need to have absolutely detail of what it is that you're actually aiming at achieving you've got to be able to measure it um, that's the m a action you've got to be able to put some things into action to actually achieve this goal not just dreaming and hoping all the time um, but it has to be realistic there's no point in saying you want to own a ferrari if your income is never going to be at that level that you can actually afford to buy one or pay for it in any way um, so your time frame is not just oh when I can afford to, but I want to be able to do it in a, in a specific time frame. So you need to be able to break these down and work out how you're going to do it, and then um, look at things that tasks that are going to be required to do that. And so if you're selling real estate, for example, and you want to be able to spend fifty thousand dollars on a car, which is over and above all your other requirements financially, you're going to have to be able to say, well. I need to sell X the number of houses in this period of time extra than what I have been doing. So how am I going to do that? And then you need to be able to look at break down how many more calls you need to make, how many more flyers you need to deliver, and, and those sort of things. So break it down, have a real think about down to the nitty gritty of your planning. So go out there and write a plan. And when you've written this plan, what you need to be able to do is put it into your diary and have a look at it every day or every couple of days. Put it on your wall, just in, the, 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 the major parts of it is that this is your goal. Maybe you're going to have a photo of the car that you want to buy. Put that on your wall and go, one day or by X day, I'm going to get this. And I'm going to sell an extra 10 houses this year so I can do that. Or I'm going to sell an extra um, 25 cars or whatever, or I'm going to do extra amount of turnover in my business so I can actually get this and these and then you have the plan of how that's going to happen so that's my nitty-gritty bit of advice for today write out some goals and targets and plans and actually write them out study them and commit to them remember I spoke yesterday about commitment commit to doing what it takes and when it gets a little bit tougher get a little bit tougher yourself you know if you want what you've never had, you've got to do something that you've never done before. So go out there and just try that little bit harder. Don't give up. Everything's achievable if you commit to it. I'm David Seymour. This is the Nitty Gritty of Selling. Feel free to share and tag your friends in this. I'd love to get more people onto my page. Have a great day.